Plasma-derived therapies save my children's lives, literally. Um, the first thing that would happen if we didn't have access to them would be that we would not be able to stop bleeding inside their bodies. They would first be in a lot of pain, then they would become crippled, and eventually they would die. To think about having to go back long term without my IGIV infusions, I would rather not be alive. I think there's no question in my mind that I wouldn't be here right now if I wasn't on a plasma therapy. The gift of life. Nothing is more precious or valuable to those who receive it, and nothing is more important and rewarding to those who make that gift possible. Life-saving plasma protein therapies are one of those rare gifts of life. In many cases, these therapies truly are miracle treatments for life-threatening diseases and conditions. Some treat diseases that are fairly well known, such as hemophilia, while other therapies treat a wide range of lesser known or rare conditions, such as alpha-1 antitrypsin deficiency or immune deficiency disorders. These diseases and disorders attack the immune and neurological systems of the body. Many of these medical conditions can often be slowed, halted, or cured with life-changing plasma protein therapies. People who suffer from chronic and life-threatening diseases such as hemophilia or primary immune deficiencies lack vital proteins or antibodies in their plasma. Replacement therapies made by manufacturers are either plasma-derived or recombinant DNA technology. We refer to both plasma-derived and recombinant as plasma protein therapies. Plasma protein therapies are vastly different from typical pharmaceutical pills and tablets. They serve relatively low numbers of patients, are highly regulated, and expensive to produce. No alternative treatments are available, and no substitutes or generics exist. But what exactly are these miracle therapies? How are they safely developed and produced? And what are the real-world impacts of their use on the patients who depend on them, on healthcare costs, and on our economy and society as a whole? For patients with primary immune deficiency disease, uh, they are not capable of making these protective antibodies. So therefore, these pl plasma protein derivatives, IVIG, intravenous immune serum globulin, are life-saving measures. There's no other alternative therapy for these patients. It's critically important that you understand that the cost of having a, a, a chronic condition like alpha-1 antitrypsin deficiency or hemophilia or primary immune deficiency is much more significant if we didn't have access to therapy just to treat us. It's not only a matter of our lifespan, it's a matter of, of, the, of the cost and, and care of those that are affected. We are finding uh, a large number of undiagnosed patients uh, in the U.S. and in other parts of the world. This is severely underdiagnosed. Uh, we're finding them, we're getting them referred to the best quality centers. Uh, there's intervention and diagnosis and then treatment. And uh, we need the product to treat these patients. It will keep them well, it will keep them alive, and it's a great investment because the cost of these illnesses can be devastating. Access to treatment is essential, and access to the right product for that patient is absolutely essential. The difference in the quality of life for patients who are on IVIG therapy and not on it is completely remarkable. Simple therapies are the ones that we prefer. Pills, when they work, sometimes they do, often they do. Uh, sometimes two medications. Uh, and then uh, when those treatments fail, we have another shot with the intravenous gamma globulin. Um, and it can be as dramatic as anything you've ever seen. It brings tears to your eyes. Uh, as cynical as you think you might be, to see a young uh, you know, mother of two who um, can't feed herself get up and go back to work and take care of her kids is very dramatic, and so the benefits are extraordinary. A plasma protein-derived therapy has prolonged my life. When I was originally diagnosed with alpha-1 antitrypsin, 
I was 41 years old, and I was told I had 10 years to live. As you can see, I'm 58, so I've exceeded that time frame. <laughs> so it's made a huge difference. Beyond the accurate and timely diagnosis of these immune system, nervous system, and blood disorders, nothing is more important than the safety and assured access to plasma protein therapies. You know you're going to get sick if you don't have access to product. You have to do everything you can to avoid being exposed to illness, and your life change. You just, you just fold up and you don't go out in the real world, if you will. You can't participate on a regular basis. Uh, whether it be a workplace or, or, or in school. And it's, it's uh, v very restricting and, and quite frankly frightening. I tell a story of a tale of two lives. I had my first life of sickness for 33 years. And at that point, at the low point of my physical existence where I thought I was going to die, I started to receive the plasma therapy. And within a couple months from being near death and certain that I would not be on the planet soon. I became very vital, full of energy. I no longer was sick. Uh, I joined a gym, I became fit. I actually became an aerobics instructor for 10 years. Without those therapies, the children wouldn't be healthy. They would be in a great deal of pain a lot of the time. They would miss out on numerous daily activities. Um, they wouldn't be able to attend school, most likely. Uh, they would be crippled very quickly at a very young age and their life expectancy would be approximately nine years of age. So without plasma derived therapies, yes, uh, I, I can imagine that and it would be terrible. I don't fear death. I fear the long, slow spiral down to the sick life that I once had. That would be way worse than death. Unlike most pharmaceutical products that are manufactured from chemical compounds, plasma-derived protein therapies are made from plasma contained in human blood collected from thousands of donors. Generally, the process starts with the collection of plasma from donors in one of more than 300 donation centers around the United States. Plasma is the straw-colored component remaining when red blood cells are removed from whole blood. Extensive medical screening and testing ensures that the plasma collected and the plasma protein therapies it yields are safe. On average, donors spend from one and a half to two hours each time they donate their plasma, and many commit to donating several times a month. What motivates me to um, donate plasma is to know that there are people that have immune deficiency disorders and hemophilia and things like that and that my plasma is going to make medicines to help them and hopefully improve their life. Because it's something I can do, I take time out of my schedule because it is something I can do. Um, I think volunteering is really important in this country and I don't think it's done quite enough. My father had suffered from hemophilia and he had gotten uh, plasma products to keep him alive and I feel you know very good about trying to give back to the community that helped him out. I share my donation experience with everybody I can. If I met somebody who received the therapy um, for my plasma I would probably cry because um, I just think it's really cool um, that I'm able to, to help someone else kind of unconditionally you know and I just think that's really neat. Donated plasma is sent to the manufacturer where a process called fractionation occurs. Through this process, the needed proteins and antibodies are separated or fractioned off. Plasma protein manufacturers use the latest technologies and state-of-the-art processes to develop plasma protein therapies. Good manufacturing practices and various quality assurance procedures are in place throughout the production process. Part of the manufacturing process is that every vial is put through rigorous and mandatory viral inactivation steps. Due to the complex production processes and the strong commitment to safety and quality, the process for making a single plasma protein therapy can take seven to nine months. The process requires substantial investment in equipment, training, and quality control. While the therapies are expensive to produce and administer, they are invaluable in their ability to treat the patients who need them, 
and must also be weighed against the value and saving they bring economically compared to the costs of long-term, round-the-clock care of patients who do not have treatment. These are life-saving therapies for which there is no alternative for many, many patients. To take away the plasma therapy from a primary immune deficient such as myself, or the factor products from a hemophiliac, or any other patient group that depends on these products for which there is no alternative good therapy, what you're doing is you're condemning those people to a life of sickness and possibly death. If the patient's able to go back to work, everyone benefits. Society benefits, the patient benefits, the family benefits, so the benefits are enormous. The use of plasma protein therapies often represents the difference between a normal, productive, wage-earning individual and a bedridden, suffering patient requiring round-the-clock, long-term care. It is the difference between a normal life and a life of pain and debility. And that's the difference that each donor, physician, researcher, advocate, and policymaker can make in the lives of the users of plasma protein therapies, the patients who receive this precious gift of life. From donor to patient, from vein to vein, each year over 13 million liters of plasma are used to produce therapies depended upon by more than one million people worldwide. But access to these therapies is a critical issue. All involved parties, manufacturers, regulators, donors, and patient groups strive to work in harmony in order to ensure adequate, safe, and high quality therapies are available to the patients who so desperately need them. To you manufacturers that dedicate your lives to providing safe and efficacious therapies for those of us on plasma protein. We can't thank you enough. If I could say one thing to the manufacturers of plasma-derived therapies, it would be thank you, because their products save my children's lives. The one thing I would say to a donor is thank you. Thank you for giving me and all the millions of patients the lives that we have. Without your donation, um, we would not be able to pool the plasma in order to create the protein-enhanced plasma that I receive. Uh, I think my sons thank you. I know my husband does. <laughs>